Well, today, elections officials addressed the surveillance video from State Farm Arena allegedly showing workers counting <clears throat> votes after hours with no supervision. That video even grabbing the attention of Trump's team of attorneys. Well, CBS 46's Adam Murphy reports outside State Farm Arena tonight. They are going to pull ballots out from underneath a table. One day after the president's legal team presented allegations of fraud to a Senate subcommittee, Fulton County's election yeah, director yeah. responded. I haven't seen the video yet, but um, according to my staff, that's just normal. I mean, that's their normal operation. At the center of the controversy is this surveillance video from inside State Farm Arena. Attorney Rudy Giuliani and his legal team say it shows people taking at least four boxes of ballots from underneath a table after hours and then counting them with no election supervisors present. We need to all sit down, look at what happened, what actually happened. We can't, we'll never be able to fight the internet, we'll never be able to fight Twitter, we'll never be able to fight Facebook. But what we can do is find out, okay, these are allegations that were made, what happened? Friday morning, Gabriel Sterling, voting systems manager for the state of Georgia, tweeted this. The 90-second video of election workers at State Farm Arena purporting to show fraud was watched in its entirety, hours, by Georgia Secretary of State investigators and shows normal ballot processing. Were there observers present um, during that 1030 to 11 time period when counting was still going on? No, but I know also that there were no observers there at the time either. There was only media there. Okay, so there were no observers while there were still counting during that, that latter part of the evening. No. And election officials went on to say that the media packed up and left State Farm Arena around 11.15 and counting continued up until about 1 in the morning. Now, that being said, I requested a one-on-one -on -one interview today with the Secretary of State's office to ask about this issue. That was not granted, but again, they've made it very clear online that what happened in that video was above board at State Farm Arena. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.